One of the largest insurance companies in the United States is cutting back on Obamacare. Aetna has announced that it will sell 2017 insurance plans through the Affordable Care Act in just four states. This is a major setback for President Obama's health care law. Jen Crawford is covering the story from Washington. So, Jan, why is Aetna cutting back? What's the explanation? Well, I mean, Aetna is saying it's just bottom line. I mean, it said it did the math, and it was just too much of a financial hit. The, the company actually reports more than $430 million in losses uh, to its individual policies units since those exchanges opened back in January of 2014. So kind of when it ran all the numbers, it just decided that it really couldn't withstand these kind of mounting financial losses. And so, Jan, how many people will be affected by this? Well, I mean, there's a good number. I mean, more than 900,000 people right now are relying on Aetna's coverage through these plans out of 11 million people who are participating in Obamacare. So, you know, it's a small percentage, but not insignificant. Now, Aetna is going to be basically withdrawing from most of the states where it offers coverage, effectively pulling out of nearly 70 percent of the counties uh, where it's now offering the health plans through the Affordable Care Act exchanges. So that means uh, that for many of those people, they will not have uh, that choice to go to Aetna when the uh, open enrollment period starts in a couple months. What about the Obama administration? Have we heard anything? Yeah, I mean, la late last night, uh, we heard from the administration that, you know, they are saying that they're not that concerned about this, uh, that, you know, the Affordable Care Act, it's not surprising that companies would kind of look at the math and come to different conclusions because it's a big change. You know, no longer uh, can they deny people with pre-existing condition coverage. They've got to offer that. And, you know, so they're not, they're saying that this is not a huge surprise. It's the, we see companies try to work through how this is actually going to work for them. And they're emphasizing uh, that there are still, I mean, you know, going to be 11 million people who are insured. That is uh, more. We've now got, you know, the lowest numbers of people who are uninsured in this country ever. So they're saying like the health of the Affordable Care Act, uh, that is strong, regardless of what Aetna may do, that other insurers are going to be there to pick up whatever slack that there may be. All right, Jan Crawford, thank you very much. Thanks.